guys, guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? It's Try It Tuesday, and um, well, I know this doesn't mesh up with the picture, but we've got a mystery for you. So apparently, we were walking through the store, and we found these little Duncan Hines, uh, like I don't know what you call them, like mug cake. cakes, mug cakes, which are like this. We got all different kinds of flavors. And when we were walking through the store, we saw a display that says Mystery Oreos. And so I guess you guessed the, or I, I'm, I guess I guessed the flavor. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. You can win $50,000 if you guess the right flavor. Um, so I'll tell you what I think it might be. I don't know. Um, if any of you guys win it, you, you owe part of, or you owe me part of the 50K. <laughs> Before I do that though, thank you so much for all the love you give the channel, all the likes, all the comments, and the shares, and most importantly, the subscriptions. You can find us on barelyhonest.com, where you can find links to our Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter feeds, as well as our Contact Us page, which has barelyhonest at gmail.com, as well as our um, P.O. Box. So check that out, if you haven't already. Um, what do you think? We want to do the, the cakes in a cakes in a mug, or do we want to do the Oreos first? Do the cakes in a mug first. Okay. Since so, they're right here and in the way. <laughs> yes. So with these little guys, you put, um, they come in like a little packet. Like this. And it has, it's kind of like Easy Mac-like, where it gives you all the instructions on there. Pretty much. Where um, you just put the little uh, packet in the mug, you put some water in there, you stir it up, and then you put it in the microwave for one minute and ten seconds. And then you get for it to cool so you don't burn yourself. Uh, but we got all sorts of different flavors. And apparently there's more flavors than what we got. This is just what uh, Walmart had at the time. But that's what these little guys look like. So They say no one, artificial flavors. They're preservatives and stuff. So Yeah, I mean, it's got decent uh, ingredients. But there are some minerals and stuff in here that... Okay, whatever. But you get four packages in each box. So what we're showing you, this one's confetti cake. Is what we're what we're doing now. And they kind of I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a little spongy cake. Yeah, they're 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 cakey in there. So this one's confetti cake. You guys can kind of see that what it looks like. It seems cakey. It's it looks a little wet. You don't want it to be too dry. That's pretty good. I mean, it's got the little confettis and stuff in there. And it tastes cake-like, but it's a little, little wet. That's what I can try. It's not bad. I mean, if you were wanting just a little bite of something. Mm -hmm. The next one is blueberry muffin. And that one looks like that. It smells like blueberries. Yeah, it smells like uh, blueberry waffles. Mm -hmm. Like Eggo waffles. Which don't have real blueberries, they have like the imitation ones. That's what that looks like right there. Big old bites, man. <laughs> that one reminded me of something when I smelled yeah. it. So it. It reminds me of like a blueberry uh, Eggo. Okay. Same exact type of batter. That's one I can try too. The rest of them I can't. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. Nice little breakfast. Mm -hmm. Next one is chocolate lover's cake. It smells like that brownie mix. Ooh, that's hot on the side. <laughs> it just came out of the microwave. Yeah. It's got like little chocolate chips and stuff in there. 
Yeah, that one had a lot of chocolate chunks when I was mixing it up. Mm. Tastes almost like they're brownies. There is a brownie one, so just wait and see if you can taste any difference between them. It reminds me of the brownies. Okay, like the brownie mix. Mm -hmm. The Duncan Pines, okay. Mm -hmm. This one is s'mores cake. It's got like little chocolate chunks and stuff in it. Doesn't smell like s'mores. Do s'mores really have a smell though? <laughs> yeah. It's like chocolate marshmallow. This doesn't taste like s'mores. The last couple s'mores things we've gotten really haven't Ooh, delivered their s'moresness. Kind of tastes like a weak chocolate muffin. That one was a weird, weird texture mixing it up. It was really runny. Mm -hmm. This one is caramel cake. It has chocolate and caramel chunks. Mm -hmm. They mostly just smell like batter. Except for the blueberry muffin one. That one sounds smell like blueberry muffin. Kind of tastes caramelly. Mostly just tastes like Like a warm cake or a muffin. No, yeah. none of them taste bad though, right? No, they're actually a lot better tasting than I thought they would be. Last one is brownie. I mean, shoot, if you need like a sweet kick or something mm -hmm. for, um, you know, like you're at work, this would be easy to make it work. Mm -hmm. Just have a mug. Mm -hmm. It just tastes like they're chocolate lovers without the chips in it. Oh, that one had chunks in it though too. Not that I could tell. It must have melted in there better. Mm hmm. Hmm. The s'mores and the caramel one kind of taste the same. Okay. The brownie, the two chocolate ones mm -hmm. kind of taste roughly the same, but I think I'm going to give it the edge to this one between the two. Okay. The blueberry muffin was probably my favorite. Confetti cake was good. But I'd have to, yeah, I'd have to say blueberry muffin was my favorite. Mine too. Did you eat that whole thing? I was in your email. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, yeah, I guess I don't have any. A good thing I got three more packages right here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'd say for, I think these were what, like $3 a box? $2.50, I think. $2.50. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty, if you're, look, if you're looking for cake but don't want to like make a whole big cake or go buy a whole big cake, this is a good alternative. I'm surprised they haven't come out with something like this before. Well, the the mug cake thing was a big hit on like Pinterest. It was you can find probably hundreds and hundreds of recipes for mug cakes for the mm -hmm. past couple years. So it's this is the first one I've seen do it in in like a mass retail. Well, it takes all the guesswork out because all you literally do is just dump a packet in a mug and three tablespoons of water and a couple. Of, I you probably don't even have to measure it out. You probably just dump it in there and be fine. When it looks, it, they all looked, except the s'mores cake, they all had like a cakey batter mm -hmm. consistency. That's a pretty good deal. Let's see what the mystery Oreo is. 
or what it tastes like. Move this, move this away. You wanna move the thing away? They're all broken. That's the mystery. <laughs> broken Oreos. It smells fruity. That's what people are saying. I can see how they say Fruit Loops mm -hmm. or, or Fruity fruit Pebbles. Because it has that same sugary, fruity consistency. You don't think it is though? Strawberry. Do you want? Do you have them? Yeah, they're Oreos. We need some weird stuff on here, so you always gotta be sure. Yeah, they are all jacked up. I wanna say like mango. Mm. But I don't think they would make a mango Oreo. But they do they do taste like fruity pebbles. Or f actually more fruit loops for me. Thoughts? Processing. Um Yeah, I mean Fruit Loops, but I don't think that's what it is. It's not going to be a basic fruit. I can tell you that. It's probably going to be like a pineapple or a or a mixture of like strawberry pineapple or like a like a mango peach or something like that. Something weird. Like fruit punch? Yeah, it could be a fruit punch. It's got kind of a culmination of things. But I think they've done fruit punch before. I think we tried fruit punch. Maybe. And that wasn't very good. Mm-mm. We had those Kool-Aid ones, remember? Those were peeps. Oh, those were peeps, never mind. <laughs> You're getting anyway, your like sugary things uh, mixed up. If you guys have tried them, let us know what you guys think they are down below. Uh, if you like this video, guys, hit that thumbs up button. If you have any questions or comments, hit us up down below. Uh, feel free to share this video as you see fit. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. And until then, have a nice day.